Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on using the equation solver for integration on a Casio FXCG50. We have the following two part question here, both involving integration. The second part, part B there, is a problem solving type question. And we're going to be using the equation solver on the Casio FXCG50 for both parts. So let's go to the equation solver. So it's down to equation from the menu, and then it is F3 for solver. So we want to set up the equation as it is written in part A. We're going to start off by bringing in the integration function. Now that is available in option. So if you press option and then F2 for calc, and then you can see the integration option is available if you press F3. We've got it set up ready here now. The first thing we need to do is to input our function. So that is x squared plus x minus 3. And once we've inputted that, if you want to navigate right, then you go to the lower limit of your integration, which is 0 and then right again for the upper limit, which in this case is three. And if we go right one more time, you can see that that goes to the end of the function. Now, if we were using the run matrix mode, we could press execute at this particular point and we would be able to find the value of this. Now, it is slightly different here in Equation Solver. I'm going to set it up slightly differently using a letter but of course what can happen is that then we can if need be use different values or a variety of different solutions using a letter in place of our answer so we're going to set this up as a, a solvable equation so we need an equals sign which we can access with shift and then equals and then well I'm going to input a letter I'm just going to use a as it's the first letter available so alpha and a and press execute. Now you can see here that we've got two choices of variable we can solve. We want to find A, our answer to this essentially. So you want to navigate down and have A as your selection and the lower and upper limits of values that are going to be uh, tried. So we can see we've got quite high limits there. So we've got a good range of values to try and find out what the answer of A is. So if you press execute at this point, we're just going to concern ourselves with the top result there, A equals 4.5. So our answer to part A here is 4.5. Because we want to use this same setup again, we're going to press F1, repeat, and we can go back and edit some of our input. Now, if we had further solutions to find, let's say we've got a different set of limits, what we could do is just go back and edit the limits we could keep all of the other setup the same there and just go in and just find a different value for A, so a different answer. So we've got a lot of flexibility there if we need to find multiple results. But there was only one that was needed for part A there. Let's move on to part B. Now, what we're going to do is just alter our input slightly because if you can see the upper limit there is unknown. So it's a little bit of a problem solving question, this one. We're still going to keep equals A in there as well. So the first thing to do is to alter the upper limit to X. So if you use the arrows to navigate back to the upper limit there, and let's just delete that and swap that out for X, then what we want to do, if we press execute here, we want to navigate to A. Now we know what A is in this case. We want it to equal 72, essentially we want to solve this. So we're just going to actually input 72 as our value for A press execute and what we need to do now is to solve for x. We're just going to navigate back up to x and press execute and this should solve this to find the value of x. And you can see here that our value of x is 6 so if you have an upper limit of 6 that will give an answer of 72. We've got a second question here. I'm just going to press F1 to repeat, but I need to delete off the equation we've already got here. I'm just going to press exit twice to come out of that, and then I want to select F2 
for delete here and then F1 just to confirm yes. And that's cleared it out and we're back to where we were at the very beginning. We've got an integration again and this time we're looking for the lower limit that satisfies this and we've also got a trigonometric function involved there, sine. So let's start by inputting the integration. So it's option F2 for calc, F3 for integration. Then we want to carefully input this. So we're going to start with the square root here, shift and square root, sine, and then X. Just to make sure that we're definitely adding two on after our trigonometric function there, I'm just going to put this uh, sine in a set of brackets, a set of parentheses, just to ensure that. It might be fine anyway, I've not tried it myself. Maybe you can try it and see if it yields the same result. But just to make sure that should work for us, and then we're going to add two on the end here. Use the navigation button, we need to come right out from the square root and then right again to alter our limits. Now this time, it is the lower limit that we want to find. So we're going to input alpha and A for that. We know the upper limit, so navigate right, input that as 3.5. Navigate right again, and we know what this equals as well, so we need to set up an equals, shift and equals. If we wanted to, we could use a third letter here as well, besides X and A, but we've only got this one question, so you can just input the value that we've got here. In this case, 1.9. Press execute. Now notice how we've still got the X and A values here from question one. We're just going to solve for A, so don't worry about X. The calculator will process the X for us, so we don't need to concern ourselves with that. We just want to navigate down to A and press execute. And here we have our result there, 2.23 to two decimal places. That's going to be the lower limit of our integration that would give us the answer of 1.9. There we go, how we can use the equation solver on the FX CG50 to calculate values for integration, but also in problem solving type questions where we're looking for the limits of integration. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.